Hey, we have here another integral today. This one's from MIT 2011, problem 19. We have the integral of 4x over 1 minus x to the fourth dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here is that we'd really like, we're used to this being a square. Now with this being a fourth power, that makes it a little different, but we can handle that pretty easily. What I want to do is a u substitution. So for my u, I'm going to call u equal to x squared, noticing that u squared is x to the fourth, so it's going to kind of give us our square term right there. Now I'll take a derivative to find my du. So du is just going to be 2x dx. Notice that's really similar to what we have in the denominator. What I can do is we'll just write this as 2 times 2x, and I can bring a 2 up front. So when I rewrite this, we'll have 2. We'll have 2x dx in the numerator, but that's just our du. In our denominator, we're going to have uh, 1 minus x to the fourth is u squared. And here, this isn't so bad. This is a pretty common integral. What I'm going to do, this is actually in the form where we could use inverse arctan. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this out using partial fractions. So let's see how this is going to look. First, what I'm going to do is just factor the denominator. So we're going to write this as 1 plus u times 1 minus u. We just have a little 1 right there. And then for our partial fractions, the way I'm going to do this is we'll write it as we want it to look like something a over 1 plus u plus b over 1 minus u. And what I'll do here is we'll use the cover-up method. How this is going to work is you just notice, you look at each of these terms separately, we notice if I were to plug a minus 1 in here, that's going to give us a 0. Well, we don't want to divide by 0. So this method, in this trick, we'll just kind of cover it up. We'll take our minus 1, plug it in here, and then we just look at what this fraction is. So we're plugging a minus 1 in here. 1 minus minus 1 is a 2. 1 over 2, our a value is going to be 1 half. Then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to imagine plugging a 1 in here. If we plug a 1 in here, that'll give us 0. So we'll just cover that up. We'll plug our 1 in. We'll plug our 1 in over here. So this is going to be 1 plus 1, 2, 1 over 2, and our b value is 1 half. So this is just kind of a shortcut to doing partial fractions. I don't mind doing it the long way, because the long way isn't that long either, but this is kind of a quick way to do it. And then next what I'm going to do is split this into two integrals, but we'll notice when you, multiply, when you distribute in this 2 times a 1 half, you're just going to have a 1. So writing this as two integrals, we're going to have du over 1 plus u, and then for the second integral, we're going to have du 1 minus u, again, the 2 distributed over here. And now we can integrate, so we're going to have natural log, absolute value, 1 plus u. Then for this next one, you just have to remember this minus sign. So we're going to have natural log, absolute value, 1 minus u, but because of the minus, we're going to need to bring a minus here. And then by the property of logarithms, we'll turn this minus into a division. So we're going to write this as natural log, 1 plus u over 1 minus u. Then we just need to back substitute our x squared to finish this off. So for our final solution, we're going to have natural log 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x squared plus c. That's it. Quick problem today. Thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day.